All right, today I have a GE, a GE Profile washing machine. And I'm gonna show you how to use this GE Profile washing machine. But before we get started, could you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel? I'll appreciate it tremendously. All right, so I have this GE Profile washing machine and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now this is a very different looking washing machine. It's a top loading and it has a big drum down in there, but we're gonna get started with that. So relax, sit back, we're gonna show you how to use this and you'll be on your way. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and load this GE, GE Profile washing machine. This is how I do it, all right? So what I do is just simply go ahead and raise this lid up. Now you see when I raise the lid up, the controls turn on right here. Now there's a power button, which you can turn it on and turn it off, but this is set to where you lift up the lid and the power turns on. Now you wanna look inside of this, it's really large, really deep down in there. All right, you see that? And you have places where you add detergent. You have the liquid bleach right here and you have a place to where you add fabric softener and detergents and I'll get to that. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and load my laundry. So I have my laundry right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and load it in there. It's not much, but I need this washed, all right? Forgive me, all right? So once I have that loaded in there, you have compartments for the bleach. Now, liquid bleach, be, war be warned when you use liquid bleach, you will probably wanna use it on white clothes. If you lose it on something like this, you're gonna damage it. So read the instructions on the liquid bleach before you add this, and please do not add it to, to colored clothes unless you are mad at somebody or something, I don't know. So. You have this, the clothes are in here. Now they have something right here where it says flex dispense. And this is where detergent is added. Now you can see right here, it has a compartment for fabric softener. All right, you have fabric softener right there. It has a max level line. You don't wanna go above this right here for how much you, you can put in there. It has a custom ad. So say for instance, you have some uh, oxy or something right here. There's a custom ad um, compartment right there and it has a max line as well. And for the pods, like Tide pods right here, it has a compartment for that because a lot of times they say put the pods directly in the drum. This GE Profile, GE Profile Flex Dispense has a compartment for Tide pods that you can put in. All right, so you can put Tide pods in there. And then there is the detergent compartment right here. You can put powdered or liquid inside of this detergent compartment. I have some detergent right here. I'm using Arm & Hammer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Arm & Hammer, go ahead and pour it inside of the cup right here of how much I'm gonna use. I'm not using much because my load is very small right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer um, detergent, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it inside of that. All right, so just pour it a little bit because I have such a small load. Replace the cap because I don't want to get this get spilled everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this flex dispenser here. And that's it for adding the detergent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you look right here. This is right here. This is how it locks in place. You can't open it while you're using it. So I go ahead and close this. And then I go to controls. All right. So we're going to go over the controls right here. There's a lot of settings right here. Downloaded. You want to go ahead and read your owner's manual to go over that. I'm not going to go over that. There's a setting for just jeans. You see it, there's a jeans um, this option. You just simply go to it by turning this dial. There's an option for jeans. There's an option for delicates. There's an option for whites. There's an option for colors or normal, normal wash. There is an option for towels, an option for bulky, quick wash. And there's even a sanitize feature right here. And then there's a drain and spin feature also on this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to normal. All right, so I'm gonna go to normal. And once I select normal, it gives me options on uh, the temperature, the water temperature right here. I can change the water temperature by simply tapping on this. Yep, simply tapping on this, and it goes through the different temperatures. I have color clothes, so I'm gonna go ahead and go at a cooler temperature, not too cold, but cooler temperature but I can go, it can go all the way up to hot if I wanted to. You see that, hot? But I'm not gonna go hot. I'm gonna go a little bit, step of cool, and then I can adjust the soil level, okay? I can go from heavy soil 
all the way down to light soil, all right? Now, when I do this, it adjusts the timing. The timing changes depending on the soil level, all right? So that's good to know. And then spin, you can have max, high, low, medium. You can change the amount of spin that goes on right here. And that also changes the time. And then there is, uh, right here, there is the rinse option. You can go from single to extra rinse, to deep rinse used with fabric softener. All right, so it does a deep rinse. It really rinses your clothes up, and it recommends that you use a fabric softener. I'm just gonna go with extra because I'm not using a fabric softener on here right here. Or maybe, you know what I'll do? I'll go with deep right here. I won't use fabric softener, but I'll use fabric softener within the drying. All right, so I'm gonna go with deep. All right, and then I'm gonna come over here and then there is some other selections right here. So it says selection, you can do auto, where auto detects how to clean your clothes. It has gentle care, where it's very gentle on your clothes. It has power clean, where it's strong, powerful clean, but I'm just gonna go with auto right here, okay? Small load, and it's gonna auto detect how to clean, how much cleaning it does to my, my clothes, all right? So you can hold and save this cycle right here. So if you press this right here, you can hold and save this particular cycle. I'm gonna hold this three seconds. Hold three seconds to save. So it's save this particular cycle right here and this will be um, ready for when uh, I come back and do a wash that's similar to this. All right, my next lot wash, or most of my washes are just like this. So it holds this cycle, so I don't have to go through all of this. I can just come up here and just add the detergent, add the clothes, and press start. So I have this right here, my cycle. All right, hold. There is a delay feature right here. Now the delay feature, I can delay it for one hour, and it keeps on going up, right? So I can, right there, it can keep on going all the way up. I can delay the cycle to end for up to 24 hours. And then it goes back to zero right there. So you do this. You have this all set. You have all of your, all of your uh, things select right here. There's also a deep fill selection. Press this. It won't allow me. Oh, let me just get back to light. There's a tangle control option. You can keep it from getting tangled in there. And then there's an auto soak option right here. Turn it off. All right. All right. Oh, whatever. All right. So th these are the basic controls that I have going on right here. It says auto soak. I want to turn that off because it changed it from... Uh, it changed it from 35 minutes to almost over two hours. So I got it back to where it's gonna wash, which is in 35 minutes right here, which is what I want. And then I'm just gonna go over there. After I made all my selections, I'm gonna come over here and then I'm going to go ahead and press start. And now it is starting. And that's how you use a GE, GE profile wash machine. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.